circles all the time would be all right. So, gonna try to build a little frame for Brought the old headlamp with. <clears throat> I know nothing square there. Otherwise, I'd use something, uh, let's see. Oh, fucking junk. Everybody else, it's dirty fucking work. And it really isn't worth it. I'm not getting paid a lot, that's for goddamn sure. Sometimes I'm not getting paid anything, how do you like that? assumption is it's going to be taller than it needs to be because if I vaguely remember I don't remember what that was cut with though what did we cut that with plasma cutter didn't we yeah that was an ugly plasma cutter job let's see what kind of tools we can tear up I don't remember this Bosch blade was capable of doing wood and metal these look like they are Do some good to put it in the right way, right? Make sure you're not going to cut through your nice table. And is this cable extension long enough? Hi. Need the radio, do I? That's been on for days. Unbelievable. Don't need a whole lot, just enough. Hopefully, it doesn't fall. And then we don't need that up here. I need that up here. Some safety glasses.
that's a great battery. Really wish I would have bought that rigid stuff. Phenomenal. gonna happen here I guarantee it <laughs> besides not finding this frame again is uh, well I could have figured that much I have to cut that again Take it from the other side. So it actually looks a little bit more square. If there is such a thing on anything that I ever cut, but I think there's I don't think there's anything that's square that I ever cut. I do drop my drop my square too. Set it down somewhere and then it fell to the ground. You know, it's really safe is just having shit all over your fucking garage. So you can trip over it because you need a fucking leaf blower there. And of course, your anger then gets in your way. And then you keep saying you're gonna bring your bigger vise out here so they can do work with bigger stuff. But you don't, so instead, you, you just aim to cut your finger off. And I'm sure I can <clears throat> cut that down too. That doesn't need to be that high, I can guarantee it.
We'll say what? I guess I should have put my headphones on. Ear protection. Oh, morning. Say. If I had the right tools and stuff, I could just go ahead and work that much easier, but I don't really have the right tools for this. I'll leave that tab there. top part doesn't really matter a uh, little bit but not as much as the bottom part so even the side parts don't matter that much it's just that I need those tabs there in order to <clears throat> uh, trail that can drill through that. In order to drill through that, I need to go find my drill. Yes, I know. Use oil. Use oil. You know, I actually think I'm going to wait on drilling those out because I think what I'm going to do is just tap some screws right into that. But in order to get 
some of this meat out of here. How are we going to do that? I need to cut that part, but I can't cut the whole thing out, right? I just need to cut a circle for it to fall into. Yeah. And hope for the hope, hope for the best, right? Oh my god! And not gonna work. Need a bigger drill. Thank you. That's great. These are horrible freight drills, by the way. <clears throat> Nothing but the best in my garage. So they're not very sharp. That sucks. That is a not very sharp drill bit. Hopefully that's low enough now, or big enough to get this guy in here. You know, it would be nice if I had a spot to... Oh, I really need to get that other vice out here. Oh. Come on. I freaking... Trying to pedal a canoe. Should probably put that right at the corner, right? Uh, Someone recommends some quality drill bits. Oh, yeah, and I probably should put some gloves on, but you know, I'm a glutton for punishment. I really like to have mangled up hands. Look, even this battery is sucking it up. Oh my god. Put a little grease in it. Put a little something in it. Put a little lubrication in it. Okay. Can I use white lithium grease? Is that alright? 
No. How about some machine grease? More lube. Holy crap, you know what? That has something better over here. That will allow me to cut through that. Hopefully big enough to fit the blade through. Or a nice CNC machine would come in handy. turning that but whatever so when you don't have proper stuff for proper stuff we have never had a proper workbench never had a proper setup just a hack of a hack I force it so hard probably wouldn't have been so bad but I can do, huh? In order to mitigate that again. Put a hole there. Until you lose a finger. Mm. You know, fuck it. God damn it.
Again, that's how you lose a finger. I almost, almost lost that finger. Definitely chipped it. <clears throat> Caught it in a fashion that makes me wince. First and foremost. It's this crappiness gonna fit through there. Yeah, so that should do big. I guess I could have shortened it up on those ends, but so walk in a circle. I feel like I got some self-tamping metal screws somewhere, but where, I don't know. <sighs> Those are definitely self-tapping, but are they metal or wood? Guess we'll find out in a minute. I've already spent too much time doing this. Someday, when the sun's shining right. Really wish I had a metal punch. something oh, I can snip those off on the end or cut them off on the end or just break them off on the end <sighs> you never find your dikes let's see if we can do this without oh. Oh, I'm just trying to be lazy Where's a flat brim anymore? Whoops. 
again. Custom. Didn't really think about this. Just kind of throwing it together. Shoot from the hip. Hope for the best. I think I'm done with the safety glasses for now. Where'd you throw your uh, little plastic frame at? That you uh, were using here. Uh, before you cut your leg on this, let's get the hell out of it. Put it back where it belongs. On top of all the wires and my hoses. And... Right there, that's fine. <clears throat> there it is. So bad. And I think what we'll do, hopefully. I don't have to trim too much. I honestly don't remember what I did with the the screws for him. So I'm gonna have to see if I can find those screws. And I actually think it went like more like this. So If I have to cut some off, I'll have enough to cut up there. I might have to pull these out, so. Oh, I'll throw that in the back of the car because I gotta go see him today. Uh, I don't know, whatever. I gotta go take the lawnmower back. To Jeremiah, so I might as well do that while I'm out today. Uh, yeah. Piece of uh, headlight metal. The bracket that goes in there and then we're gonna stuff it up in here and hopefully it'll hold and uh, throw light. It did end up squeezing out that side I guess. That's not there though there's some what I was concerned about was the uh, the light actually shaking but there's another bolt somewhere here that's actually more loose than, than that is and then it is a uh, custom fabric cobbled uh, light it would have been nice if I could have flushed on a day closer there but yeah I think it'll throw some light and then we're going to drill a hole in the top here and put another light on there. Pretty much how this is going to end up then. I uh, just need to tighten up the bolt on here and uh, we'll solder in the wires. Um, we'll probably run that down through there.